So if we should start the thanksgiving right away, um, you think God will be angry that we did pray? Would God be happy that we woke up with thanksgiving in our heart, thanking God? Will God be happy or yes. not happy? Yes, he's great. Yeah, he is happy. He's God will be happy? Yeah. I want to hear you well. Will God be happy? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Any other person believe that? God will be happy if we just give God thanks and give each other thanks today. God will be happy. Yes, God will be very happy. Um, so there are many scriptures that can help us understand why God will be happy. Um, one of them is found in the epistles, John. For at no time has anyone seen God. The only way to see God and to love God is when you love your fellow human being. And to love your fellow human being means what? Uh, the highest form of loving somebody is to be grateful for them, right? It's to be grateful for them. Uh, if you love somebody and you're not grateful, I, I don't see that's not love in, a, in the sense. You've not grown to that point. Even when they give you a challenging hard time. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> There's something about it bubbling in the atmosphere. I pray all of you catch it. Even when they're giving you the hardest time, that's when you should be more grateful. As long as they don't kill you. <laughs> as long as whatever they're doing don't kill you. <laughs> you're going to grow. You're going to learn. You're going to be the most bubbliest of persons in the world. And people would not understand. So we want to grow to where we can be grateful we can truly be grateful. So let's begin. Uh, we have our worship leader. We're not always going to just destruct service like that. Uh, we want Teresa to come now. With that heart of thanksgiving, with what you read in the email, Teresa Rosier, I'm so grateful for you. I really am so grateful for you. Grateful for your couple. We came to Richmond, we could not connect from the very beginning, but finally we connected. And maybe that's God's will, that after you had all finished your school, and now you're here in Richmond, not just hanging around, but you're here um, guiding us almost every Sunday, um, part of a welcome addition to the Holy Community here in Richmond, IFC. That is an international community that has no borders. We are not limited to Richmond. So grateful for your couple. Really so grateful. Thank you for choosing. I don't think any one of us coerced you. I don't think I called you all the time. I said, oh, I meet you. I don't think we did that. But you chose just by asking. You, you stepped up and... I really want to say from my heart, thank you. Kamsa <laughs> Anida. All right, lead us, Teresa. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I think this week is, yeah, Thanksgiving week. Of course, we want to, um, I'm grateful definitely for our community here um, that we can gather every Sunday and, um, yeah, like be. I mean, we can, you know, still socially interact as much as we can in these times. Um, I'm really grateful for that. Um, and also that we are still there for each other um, as a community and we're growing together and we're getting to know each other each week better. So I'm really grateful for that. And also, of course, Father Bio for giving us spiritual guidance and food every Sunday. And for your lovely wife being there supporting you and she's also she yeah you guys just have like such a big heart yeah someone said <laughs> someone someone noted in the world and i hope they are right they said birds of the same feathers flock together do we understand that parable that birds of the same feathers flock together so we have to Thank God for everyone because we must believe 
we are birds of the same feathers, meaning we have like mind to love. And so God puts those types of people, we flock together, we move together. So thank you. Now continue, lead us with your worship leading and we shall all have the opportunity within the service to, to give thanks. Continue, Teresa. Okay, I'm gonna be reading Family Pledge seven and eight. Okay, number seven, our family, our family, our family. The owner of Shang Good pledges through living for the sake of others to perfect the world based on the culture path, which is rooted in the original lineage by centering on true love. Number eight, our family, the owner of Chang Good pledges having entered the completed testament age to achieve the ideal of God for human beings united in love through absolute faith, absolute love, and absolute obedience, and to perfect the rule of liberation and complete freedom in the kingdom of God on earth and in heaven by centering on true love. Amen. Amen. I like the first the uh, the first uh, one you read today, living for the sake of others. That is that's that's key. That's key. Who's gonna pray for us? I can pray. Amen. <laughs> Okay, please join me in prayer. Dear yeah, Heavenly Father, um, I'm so grateful that we have this opportunity and we to come together and that we have this great um, community here that um, really respects one another and wants to, um, we want to share each other's heart and connect Heavenly Father. I'm um, also so grateful that we have Father Bayou and his wife every Sunday here. Um, loving us and father yeah so grateful for our community i pray this night everybody's name here my name is Lord. amen and adieu adieu and adieu 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 thank you sister teresa how is my wonderful brother your wonderful husband oh yeah he's fine so you guys um, are going to travel on yes, Wednesday? Yes, we're going to travel. Yeah. Where yeah, we're gonna, go ahead. We're going to travel to North Carolina. Yeah. I'm glad it's not so far um, because of the, the unfortunate rising in um, COVID infections. Uh, we really want to caution everyone don't don't get too over carried away every day is a day of thanksgiving we're as you know here we we always stay in the spirit of gratitude so to continue in the gratitude spirit one of our, our um we are uh, the other pillars in richmond in virginia uh, we're going to hear from the johnsons before he gives us a song what i like all of us to do um share a little bit one or two minutes or three minutes about what you're grateful for as 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 much as you can and then um like the johnson i know you have a song then um, offer that song to god and then we'll go like that uh, and then the lenses will also do the same and miyoko mrs bio and anybody else who may join us so at this time let us open up our great brother again another brother i am so grateful for um uh, he should write a, a memoir. Uh, his memoir would be a bestseller. He and his, he and his couple, he and Miyoko. Uh, you just don't know how God um, works in people's lives uniquely. The reason sometimes other people's stories, um, you hear them because maybe they are positioned and somehow um, they have the resource to, 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 to put their story out. Um, but I tell you, many of us, many of you, you have stories that rival that of, yes, the Messiah even, yes, because everybody goes through a, a process that is so unique. I cannot, you cannot say, oh, I cannot say what I'm going through is worse or is, 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 is heavier than what you're going. No, 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 no. Everybody goes through a similar but unique experience that we can all learn from. And so I've learned a lot from my great brother. Uh, he's truly um, uh, a brother anybody should have in their corner, in their ring corner. If you want someone to fight for you, oh my goodness, you don't need to look no further. 
Just call on Brother Carlton Johnson, especially if he gets hold of your feet, if he washes your feet uh, with God's holy hands. Oh my goodness, you are, you are locked in. You are locked in for life in his heart. Brother Carlton, what are you grateful for today? And if there are any song of, of gratitude you'd like to sing and share with us, unmute yourself, let us hear you. So yes, um, gratitude, so many things. Um, uh, uh, we went to celebrate Tad's birthday. Actually, this was also Children's Children's Day that happened this week, this past week, and we went there for Children's Day. But uh, uh, we went to celebrate his birthday, and um, it was a very exciting experience. <laughs> it was, uh, uh, what can I say? Uh, so uh, I, yes, I'm grateful for. He's got so much, brother. Since, as I told you, he wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> he wouldn't know where to start. Just give us one or two. <laughs> and through this, uh, through, through the end of the year, we'll be doing gratitude. Okay, so give us one or two. Yeah, yeah. Um, well. Um, Yeah, so many things. Uh, I'm grateful for uh, Dr. Young. He's giving this uh, incredible 40-day revival every morning. Well, more than every morning. He's always he's giving so much, and so so much is coming. So much is coming out of that. But I'm also, which makes me very grateful for. Um, uh, true mother last night. Um, it's amazing that what she's she's been able to bring together. She's been able to embrace the world and all these different leaders giving testimony. Um, it's just so amazing. And uh, and she gets up. She should not have to proclaim that she's the only begotten daughter. We should understand that more. We don't understand that enough. But her her basic message was that, hey, look, God, God saved it. Korea sent my father was one of the one of the um, veterans who fought in Korea. And um and and his and my uncle, his his elder brother was at the uh, Yalu River, same as um the congressman. And and explain that there were so many uh, soldiers coming over the hills. They were coming over the hills without weapons because they had to just pick up the weapons of the ones who were dead. And so the UN soldiers couldn't stop firing. So my uncle burned his finger off because he could let go of the trigger of the of the gun. And even then, it was like they were overwhelmed but somehow he survived. And so um, mother, I could feel mother's gratitude, but mother tried to make it clear that why did God sacrifice? I mean, why did God send those people to save, to prepare for the only begotten daughter, the true parents, and that the, the full salvation of this world is only gonna come by our longing for God. God is our heavenly parent. Uh, only, only with God can we can we fix this this mess. And um, so today I was very, I was, I don't know, I, I'm grateful for many things, I'm, but I was especially grateful for Mother's, uh, which is not just her victory. It's all of it's everyone's victory who has you know worked so hard to make the foundation. But with all her guidance, with our Father and Spirit world and Mother here on the earth, and and her being united with Father so deeply and loving God so much, uh, we would not have, uh, we would not have the, such an amazing third rally. 
I'm looking forward to the fourth rally. I, I really believe that she, through these rallies, she's going to really, there's going to be the reunification of North and South Korea quite soon. <laughs> Um, right. nobody, has a, nobody has a mind. Nobody has a mind to, who can do it? Who can even think to do it? But what she, you know, the energy that she put together. So I'm grateful, I'm very grateful. And uh, I guess uh, I, I hadn't prepared the song, but uh, I, I think I want to sing If Life Were Gracious Enough. Beautiful, thank you for that testimony. enough to grant my way I would reach to the ends of the earth to give love in every day and each would find his home with peace and there where joyous songs abound and happiness to share if life were gracious enough to grant my dream I would see your face in the stars and hear your song in every stream. And the comfort of your smile in the warm caress of spring. In the dance of life all the while, I feel your love in everything. We will make life gracious enough to fulfill our dream. We will lift all the weight of the world and your love will blossom supreme yes. we will free each heart from the pain and anguish of the past through the preciousness of our love, to joy will reign at last. Thank you, Father Carl Singh, a brother with truly a fatherly heart. To the preciousness of our love, true joy would we reign at, at last. last. Right. That's the only way, through the preciousness of our love. And truly, um, what you see yesterday and what you'll be seeing at the rallies is all of your victories. Every one of you, everyone, down to all your children, all the contacts, everything you've been doing contributed and will continue to contribute. Because there's no way, never will be, that one, one Messiah can save all of us. It's never happened, will never happen until Messiah multiplies themselves, until all of us inherit that heart. Mm -hmm. um, there is no hocus pocus, but we need to follow this, this strategy of God, which is always to reach out to people who you're uncomfortable with. Again, Nature, God does not like a vacuum. If you don't fill it with love, 
something else will enter there. <laughs> something will fill it up. So we thank God for mother, true parents, filling the vacuum, the vacuum of hate that was filled, the vacuum of division, the vacuum of things that separate us, helping us know that we are the ones to fill it with love. So we thank mother so much. Let's give grace, love, joy to our true parents. Thank God. Put your hands and thank God for what they've allowed us to be a yeah. part of. Um, i like to like to say one more thing, uh, Pastor Bayo. Yes, sir. Uh, I think uh, um, my wife, she also has a very beautiful voice. And uh, one of my favorite, one, <laughs> one of my favorite songs by her is a Japanese lullaby, uh, Takeda Komo Ryuta. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> and this song. <laughs> Rem re you and must this... <laughs> remember that song, Miyoko. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> and uh, the reason why this is a very beautiful song, it's about a girl from a poor family and she has to, she's sort of hired out to take care of children in another family. And it's holiday time and she can't get to wear the kimono. She can't, she can't go home. Yeah. And, and she, she, she misses her, her parents. She misses her parents. Mm -hmm. And Oya, no, she won't go to her parents' home. So this is, is this, there's this heart of longing, and I think um, it's a very beautiful song, but I, I think most people don't think about it in that terms. But I think what mother, what true mother is trying to say and what Reverend Dr. Young is trying to say is we must have longing. That the longing that this little girl has, she wants to, she wishes she, she could be in her, in her own parents' home, but she can't be there because of the situation. So that longing is a beautiful song. So it is, brother. And I pray you are you're right. And that's all of us, all of you here. It's the longing that wakes us up. Um, the longing for God. Um, the longing for to manifest um Chan Yol Gov, the kingdom of heaven, a place where we really um live as brothers and sisters. Uh, let us inherit more that longing, not be satisfied. Um, with ourselves and among ourselves. And so, yes, that longing is what really um, brings heartfelt relationships um, when we sincerely wake up every day with that longing. And it's important. I want to thank all of you again. I thank Pastor Car um, Brother Carlton for sharing that. Um, all of you are doing again, your own way. And we thank God for Dr. Chuck Chik Young, new leadership, um, just bringing us back to what all of you, all of us have been emphasizing here. Uh, IFC never changed from true love. We never, the longing to love. And that's all it is. And you will always, if you join us more, you would know that there's just too much jargon theology. Any theology that does not release you to really love the, the so-called enemy, it's not a good theology. It's just another um, um, intellectual masturbation. Let me use that word, intellectual masturbation. So all our teachings must lead us to have bright faces like your faces, like your heart, uh, to make us know we are overcomers. Not tomorrow, now. Uh, it's been declared, Chun Yogook is now. Two become one now, not tomorrow. So. I thank God for the couple, uh, for, for the Johnsons. They truly are one, even though um, because of internet, um, she's in the in-house, he's in the man cave. Uh, man cave. <laughs> so, uh, Miyoko, we're going to, I hear you feeling you don't remember that song, but think about it. We want you to sing that song because it's a song we know will touch God's heart. Your husband has requested it because he feels your heart. He knows you can do it. And so uh, when you're ready to sing that song, just let me know, okay? Okay. God bless you. Thank you. So study that song well. We want to hear you. Um, so right now, as we continue with the gratitude, um, 
you know, we, we let's go to, to, to the lenses as uh, we've heard. You know, when Brother Johnson speaks, he speaks for a whole lot of people, the whole tribe. <laughs> we've heard, heard about his father and, 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 and uh, brother. Again, we are so connected. Um, I never knew I would leave Africa, Nigeria, or Cameroon and come have such connections. Um, you see how the connections run deep. There's no mistake why we are all here. Uh, you see his lineage uh, already fought for true parents' arrival. Uh, so um, when they were going there, they could not imagine the history in the future. They could not imagine. They didn't even know what, what God was doing, uh, what life was weaving. And now we can look back and see, wow, look how God brought all of us together. So we are now again together with the lenses, another great couple. Um, while I was in DC um, as a pastor, uh, we, we, we were privileged to know um, the, the lenses and gradually over time, um, it's always a natural connection. When, when you find a like mind, when you find people who are longing, that longing, who are longing for authenticity, not, long, not, not just show, not just looks beautiful, no, really longing to, to a place where they can love and be loved and share God's love authentically with the talents they have. So I pray that they have found it here. Um, they are now really, I, I don't know how to say this without blushing, without feeling tears, because uh, to have a great member, not just a member, they are partners, um, they reside, yes, in D.C., but to, to, to feel the attraction to walk together here, to, to be as family. Um, um, you know, Mrs. Bio, as you know, every day I and her, we talk, we got to tell you this about all of you, about the good things all of you do. And uh, thank you to the lenses. Thank you, Miwako. Thank you, Stevie. Your love for God, your longing for, 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 for authentic love. Um, drives me, drives us um, to be as authentic as we can. So it's your turn for gratitude. This is gratitude. Every day is gratitude day. Every day is Thanksgiving day. Let's hear from you. And then whatever song you have prepared, we want your couple. Please go ahead. Let's welcome the lenses. You person? Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you want to go first? Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm glad to for the people that have been in my life, even for a short time or for the long term, because every step leads to a new step, a new beginning. From either us accidentally met you, and a lot of people have maybe it was God, probably was God who helped me go the way I am now. Because if not, my life would have totally been different. Maybe in a you know, worse way. Because if I followed the footsteps of my friends, I wouldn't be here today. It was if uh, other people in my life pushed me back into, um, I would say a normal life. I wouldn't be here now. So I had to thank them. Some passed away and others have gone away. So I had to thank the past as well as the present. And that would God help me today. Because those Zakis, I wouldn't be married now. It wasn't for them, especially Mr. Shimi, who pushed me to get married. And I remember one time he said, Mivaka will be a good wife for me. He told me that he said, no matter what, stick with her. Yes. I'm telling you, yes. she's gonna be a good wife. <laughs> From that point on, I'm like, mm, okay, I'll try. <laughs> and that's all we can do is life is try to move up the best we can. Sometimes we always gonna need a little push to help us keep going from that point on. But 
Also, you have to put the effort in. I had to put the effort in as well. To keep going. Amen. Amen. It takes, yes, it takes little effort just and push. I like that. I like that. Let us help push each other gently and let's put effort more to continue to make our lives more beautiful and precious and gracious. You know, thank you, Brother Stevie. You are truly a jewel uh, for us. So authentic, so beautiful. Uh, you're sharing, thanking the past and the present, which we should, and thanking the future to come because it will be good. Only to put the effort, Stevie. Yes. Wonderful. Miwako! You look like you are you are in love land uh, already. Anytime you are with your husband, you look so relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. I I. Gonna sing today, or are you gonna share? If you have song, whichever you feel comfortable. Okay. I, I'm sorry, I didn't prepare song today. Okay, now you have to give us gratitude report. <laughs> I. I'm so grateful. Thank God, you know, to, to meet the uh, Pastor Bio and Mrs. Bio. I I know you. I know you. You know, uh, since like since I came in America, but uh, un until the recently, I didn't talk with you the much, <laughs> and then. <laughs> I think finally I found uh, you know one of the precious partner you know I realized you know, the God and I'm very grateful for uh, my husband and my daughter and um, I and I very grateful the you know the Mister Ozaki's uh, daughter. Amy, if she's not there, I'm not here, I think. She is the, she is the, because of her, I, I, I always, I can't stay, I can, I can be here. She, she's heart is so pure and then, uh, always, always love me. And then uh, her smile make me alive at the time. <laughs> and then uh, also I'm so grateful I could stay here. And then I recently I realized and no matter what, I came here because I could meet my husband because of him, I love America. I love Washington, D.C. a lot. Yes. Amen, amen. I do, I do, I do, I do. Brothers and sisters, your gratitude touches heaven. The sincerity of gratitude is so important. You know how sometimes people will just say, thank you, thank you. Just like people would just say, good morning, good morning. Do they really understand that word good and morning? When you get, oh, thank you, thank you. Are they really sincere? As we continue to be reinforced in our lives through Father's number one calligraphy, sincerity moves what? Heaven. Sincerity. So once we are sincere in all our efforts, authentically sincere, Heaven will move. Heaven will always move and walk. Uh, before we go to Mrs. Bayo, um, I want Miyoko. Miyoko, any words of gratitude before you sing some other time? Go ahead, mommy. Um, gratitude to me, um, my grandchildren. My ending yesterday, I went to grandpa house, a husband, uh, a father house. People. Before I want to go with with uh, uh, a cash, I pick up, and then Sadakuni asked him to a cash. Do you like a father or a grandpa? He said, 
I love grandpa. <laughs> How about the mom? Do you like mommy or grandpa? He said, I like grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were so laughing, but uh, this uh, really grandchildren make really uh, like a more close, and this is very grateful. Thank you. <laughs> that is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we pray that love continues to grow from heart to heart, from grandpa to father to, to many, many generations um, um, to come. Obviously, we always like grandpa because God is grandpa. You know that God is the is that's why all children uh, they will always love grandparents more than parents and because grandpa grandma always kind of spoil them. Let us be honest. <laughs> Let us be honest. You are the ones who give them that. The reason why sometimes they don't obey their their parents too quick because you spoil them. You let them do anything they want to. Do. <laughs> so. That is the reality of true love uh, with grandparents and children. So we are grateful. Thank you for that wonderful observation. Uh, truly, we are grateful for Akash, Mune, and all the little children that God is sending to IFC to take care <laughs> of. So Mother Bayo, what are you grateful for? You just heard about how your godchildren, uh, Akash in particular, <laughs> so grateful for grandparents. <laughs> What are you grateful for, Mrs. I'm grateful for you, by the way. I don't know if I tell you that enough. I think so. I do? Yeah. I don't want to just talk about it. I want to <laughs> do more. <laughs> yeah, this is Thank, you. Thank you for loving me. Oh, let's go. <laughs> what are you yes, um, I am grateful for Heavenly Parents. Um, the... First of all, uh, the everything include everybody here in this world. Uh, since I joined the church, my um, I was uh, truly working with our heavenly parents um, to my best to respond to uh, the things uh, he put in my heart to do good or to love. Uh, the, the, yeah, the, the about uh, uh, how many years now? 20, 23, third years since I and like knew about uh, true parents and divine principle. Um, yeah, but more likely uh, very close to heavenly parents because uh, he called me to go this path. Um, then I, I want to very appreciate everyone as Father Bayo mentioned, uh, because truly in my heart, the currently people coming around is divine appointment. We are full of hope. Uh, we are full of um, uh, passion to help many, uh, include the wider, far, and uh, embracing even different religious. And um, just so grateful for you. Um, also, I was so grateful to my husband <laughs> as I uh, work of part of um, restoration. He is the one know everything about me in the good things, maybe also the maybe mess. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, he allowed me to be uh, vulnerable, which means to be who I am, authentically, um, to, to grow in authentically was challenging because of, uh, as a human, we have an idea in our life thinking uh, I am very strong I, idea like this thing should be go this way or that way to me. I'm very hard 
on me. Um, but the uh, reality to redeem our insight is a different story. Um, yeah, so he uh, give me a um, big heart to working on that type part. Um, I'm just so grateful for, <laughs> for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I uh, also, uh, because of partnering with Pastor Bayo who have a dedication to God, I do my best to catch my heart to reach that point. Um, um, because without his dedication, um, probably I am not a pursue that person. <laughs> but that person was very grace, graceful and um, um, the full of love from Heavenly Parents and to find true self and true potential who I am to live up is full of joy and happiness in my heart which God intended for me. And I'm just so grateful. <laughs> Thank you everyone. Thank yeah, you, I mean, everyone. I'm going through like so many spiritual dilemma and past uh, weeks. Uh, uh, that was, I couldn't even believe myself why such a spirit will be uh, coming and attack me. Um, and I was like even so cry even during the work time and I just couldn't believe but uh, um, in God uh, who has showed faith and determined to move on um, what he has been grace my heart to move on yeah thank you <laughs> thank you thank you Mrs. Bayo thank you the ones God loves God chastises um, take that to heart when you're going through whatever. Know it's because God loves you. He will never put more on any one of us than what we can bear. He always needs, um, messiahs are about the ones who carry the heavy load, the difficult task that no one wants to deal with. And so we are all tribal messiahs. You have a messianic mission. And that's why we are in a holy community where people are still not understanding Oh, they are still criminals. They are still thieves. They are still dictators. Well, it is I and you. We claim we have received the messianic mission. Uh, we've got to carry the burden of the cross, the burden of love. That God has been carrying that weight. Who is going to help God? Who is going to help Jesus? Who is going to help true parents? It is not by condemning others um, because we, the blessed, we see all the negative. We see all the weaknesses. And it's so quick and easy for fallen nature to want to pick on weaknesses instead of to help, again, put, put something in that gap, love in that gap, to help that person, strengthen them. Many times we, out of um, unfortunate self-righteousness, um, we tend to condemn others in our hearts, um, not knowing we've condemned ourselves. Anytime you over criticize and over blame somebody over when you go to an extent where you never stop that means you are really condemning yourself you are really um, 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 taking god out of you and, and and that's what eve and adam did they tried to blame god blame somebody else for something that uh, one should just take responsibility for the other so this is what marriage is about, is the first way to show us how to take responsibility. You remember, never forget this, um, brothers and sisters as blessed families. Remember, you were taught that your, your, your spouse is what? Your second Messiah. Messiah. Never forget that. That is so important. Your spouse is not just for herself or for himself. Your spouse, really, their behavior, their, whatever they are going to is to help you. Whatever my wife going through a struggle is to help me, is to help me grow. And she has been the best teacher, <laughs> the best oh God. God, the best Messiah to help me grow. So take that to heart and know that that is why you have a partner. As you know, we can push that theological reality by letting people know that even God will not grow until we grow in love. Yes, God doesn't grow unless I and you grow to love everybody. 
We may not like what people do, but we must love. God does not like certain things, Father Bio still does, but God still loves Father Bio. And it's because of that love, I want to do some things that God likes because it is important. So you may not like what some people think they do or say or how, but at the same time, find the way to love because God is in every human being. God is present. This is not just some speculation. No, this is reality, truth of truth. And so I'm so grateful for our community again. I tell you a small story as we have 10 minutes, then we'll sing one song. Um, the Bible tells us of the, the story of, um, of um, 10 leopards, 10 leopards. Um, they came to God. They came to God through Jesus. Jesus healed them. And Jesus told them to go do what is right by the temple and the temple procedure. After leopards are killed, cleansed, they have to go be verified. And so they did that. And guess what? The nine, as they were going, they got healed. And 10, they got healed. And all 10 of them went their different, I mean, nine of them went their different ways, maybe grateful. But none of them, ten, nine of them didn't come back. One came back to Jesus to say thank you. One of the 10 that got healed, only one came back. To say thank you. This is the unfortunate reality of all of us. Persons who claim to love God. People come to God many times only in their physical need. Physical need involves money need because it's physical. And after sometimes our needs are somehow met, we begin to take God for granted. Yeah, we people now want to question. In our baby faith, infancy, we trusted God 100%. But as we begin to grow, you know, we want to question. We don't know how to just be grateful as a child who has received ice cream, <laughs> you know. So I want to encourage you. There's so many things God has done for all of us. All of us, don't look at the one thing or the few things that are still not so right around you. No, that means you are having a heart of ingratitude for your life, for God. Don't. It is the age we must pick on God's goodness in everyone and seek to highlight it, elevate it as true mother is doing, true parents have always done. Look at them, how they embrace so-called political national leaders. Leaders that some of us will be like, no, I don't even want to go close to this person. No. No, many of us have judged many leaders and condemned them already. But if we follow the way of true love, the true parent way, the parental way of love, we will embrace all people as our grandchildren. Did you hear that? We will embrace all people as what? Grandchildren. As our grandchildren. And nobody, regardless of how grandchild behaving, every grandparent, believe me, knows their grandchild is the best, is the holiest, is the loveliest. This is truth. And so if I can see every human being from that vantage point that I know I am blessed. I know it. I am, I am not wrestling with it. I'm not trying to figure it out. No, no, no. I know. I want you to know for fact that you are blessed beyond measure. Everything you need is around you because God is around you. God is in you. So what's the problem? The problem is I, you, the individual, still wrestling with yourself. So take those 
uh, beautiful words. They are challenging words, but they are encouraging words. The enemy is not outside. The enemy is still trying to fill the vacuum that belongs to God on the inside. Don't let your heart have a vacuum where you don't know how to put people in your heart to love them. A vacuum in our heart is complaint. When you have complaint, when you have criticism, when you have all this nitpicking, that is a vacuum. But I pray that you will fill that vacuum quickly with true mother, true father, heavenly parents, brotherly, sisterly, childlike, not childish, but childlike love, messianic love. So I'm grateful for all of you today. You have given us a reason to know that we are messianic people. We are going to continue to work together. We are going to hold each other's heart together. We are going to sharpen each other's love together so our love can cut through um, whatever it is that's in our way of building the holy community, of embracing the whole world. We want you to be excited about everyone that comes into your life, Dr. Young, Mother Moon, um, whoever, your, your new boss, your new uh, daughter, your, anybody, the new grocery person that you just saw at the grocery store, the new attendant, the beggar, you got to be excited to be the one who brings love to this miserable world so that we get out of this suspension. Pray for America. Pray for America's leadership especially church leadership. Pray that they know how to pray to bring America and the world back together. Pray that leaders don't pick political parties in their sermons, in their sharing, pick one or the other. Pray that they only focus on God's love for God so loved the world, God so loved America and everything that is in America. Yes, the one you think you don't like, they, uh, God loves the Washington Post. God loves the Washington Times. They're all playing a role. God loves every human being who may not know that. It is my duty to help them know that God loves them so that they can act. It is our duty to carry true parents, dynamic, heavenly parental love to everyone. Not wait only for a rally to watch on the screen. No, not wait. No, we have to do some things more than just do that, than just shipping emails. We must do as Miyoko seek to do, to go meet with grandchildren, to take them to grandparents. We must meet as, 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 as Teresa Rosia is asking, where we can come together, even though there's a pandemic, we have to find ways to break through every barrier. Yeah, it is not good enough for us to just quote the Bible or quote true parents or say we love certain people. We must claim we love like God. Love everybody. The way as you hear Dr. Young every morning teaching you, teaching us, this is not new news. It is old news. You should by now be the one who is like, my God, Finally, yes, somebody is understanding what has been in my heart. This is how I feel about Dr. Young. I'm so grateful that somebody is focusing on true love. That is the only pledge I pledge for. That is the only thing I signed up for. That is what God called me to, to, to be part of. That is what true parents brought to this world. The true Christ-like love that's ready to die for another. He calls it, we know, living for the sake of the other. So I cannot live again, never for the sake of myself. I got to live for the sake of my partner, the one God has put in front of me, my second Messiah. If I live for her sake, and if she can live for my sake, guess what? No problem. No problem anywhere. Because I will take this same um, uh, um, husband and wife love, male and female love, I will take it to the world. I will know how to love sisters. I will know how to love women. I will know how to love daughters. She too, she will take this love because we, she knows that the, the only conjugal love is here. But every other thing, because we have tried our best to become one, she would know how to love a man, uh, principally, any brother, any, any father, anybody out there. So it starts with me knowing that I have no enemy. My spouse is not my enemy. My church members never will be my enemy. Even those persons out there who despisefully use you, they are not your enemy. They only come to make you stronger, 
bolder, more courageous to share God's love, like true mother does. So brothers and sisters, yes, we need to declare, we need to talk about only begotten daughter, but that is not the solution. I want you to know this for fact. You can declare Jesus from head to toe, but if you do not love like Jesus, if you do not love like the Messiah, that's why we are tribal messiahs, go and let us continue to do as our great sister, Mi Hoko did, going to the biological grandchildren, but let us go beyond the biological connection. Let us go and see the world as our grandchildren and love them and do our best to show them. Show that child. Don't spoil that child for the buyer. Don't spoil. Chastise that child. That child will love you more. Will, will, will really let you know that, man, but for you, daddy, but for you, grandpa, you guiding me this way, letting me know things that even my parent, my pastor could not show me. Show that not only to your biological and those people who are close to you, but take that and transfer it to love us. So today we're going to hear some new preaching from Doctor um, from our new president, um, the president of, of the Family Federation for Holy uh, for, for Heavenly USA, our holy community new leader, um, Brother Yushirado Naokimi. Um, he's going to be bringing a message. It's now 10 o'clock. I want to release you and thank God for you. We have uh, somebody who joined us, Babi, but I see um, uh, her, her system or whatever system does not have a microphone, I can see. But we thank you if you can see us for joining us or whoever Babi is. Uh, we pray something touched your heart. And I pray that as we can gather here, please come join us on Wednesday. Let us continue giving gratitude and only looking at the attitude of gratitude, not only for this week, not only for this season, but all our lives, we want to inherit the true parental heart of God that is really always grateful and yet always longing, always longing, grateful and always longing for all of us to be better. Join me in prayer. Oh God, you are the light of grace. You shine so brightly, not only from above, but you shine from within each one of us. You have lighted all our dim shadowed ways. Yes, you have. You, your light is so bright that sometimes maybe it may blind some of us. But we pray that that light be the guiding light leading us from behind, leading us in the front. And we stay right in the middle of your light. Your light is love. It brightens our, uh, our heart. It brightens the atmosphere. It makes us see more clearly. It allows us to see more transparently. This is your grace. Your grace that is so evident all around us. The air we will breathe today is not scheduled for only certain people. The sunlight is not scheduled for only certain people. Well, for a certain time as the world spins, some people will, all half of the world may, may, may be under the moonlight. But, but when the sunlight comes again, everybody who was under the moonlight will now become under the sunlight. So we thank you for, for ne never letting us be away from your light. We thank you for giving us the clarity that it is in God, in you, heavenly parents. We live, we move, we have our being. You are spirit, and it is in this spirit we live. You have allowed this spirit to permeate into each one of us. This spirit that created us in image and likeness, to act like you, to love in resemblance to you. I bless all my brothers and sisters under the sound of my voice, God. I thank you for giving us the power of love to declare good things into each life. I declare harmony. I declare beauty. I declare better communication amongst us, within us, around us, oh God. And as we go now to be part of a more national experience, we pray that the messages we would receive would be a message that is on time. We'll be able to see clearly my part, my portion of responsibility. We'll be able to repent, revive, and and, and, and recondition ourselves, reconcile, restore, and reclaim one another as truly brothers and sisters, one family in you, around you, and under you. We thank you for our true mother. We thank you for all mothers, all fathers, all elder brothers, all mentors, all people doing their best. And those who are struggling, we thank you for them so that you would allow us a place where we can show your love, give your love. I bless the lenses. I bless the Johnsons. I bless the Rosiers. I bless our sister, Barbie. And we bless our lives 
as the international family community, the holy community for heavenly parents here in Richmond, Virginia. This is my prayer, begging for forgiveness. Wherever we have spoken amiss, wherever we've emotionally gone amiss, Lord, please, we beg for forgiveness. Please accept all our offerings of gratitude in the precious name of all my brothers, my wife's name, Ayano, my name, Bayo, as the Adrian Bless Central Couple, RJ. Amen. 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 So. Unmute yourself and let's just thank God for each order. Mm -hmm. And thank you. Thank you. So, sisters, 3 p.m., continue. Thank you again, everyone, for your reflection. Join the national service and continue to love one another the way God loves us. Okay? okay. Have a good day. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.